What's up, booze? What it do? What it do? Welcome to April Nicole Tarot. I am your girl, April Nicole. And I will be doing a general read for the collective. Um, I want to remind you that this is a general read, not a one-to-one. -one. So that means that what I say may or may not resonate, right? So I want to invite you to take what resonates. And I also want to invite you to leave what doesn't. I promise you, I will not get offended. I promise you that. Nobody is going to get offended. Okay? So um, I've already shuffled the cards. I've already prayed. I've already spoken to our spirit teams. So we are ready to go. Um, I hope everybody is having a great day. Um, I hope everybody ain't dealing with no fuckery. I hope y'all are staying cool. Y'all are hydrating. Okay. Let's see. So we have we have the sixth chakra in reverse. That is our crown chakra. So some of you could be experiencing blockages in the crown chakra. Next we have the fourth chakra, which is our heart chakra. That is in the upright. So that's good. Because my last my last um reading. The heart chakra was in the reverse, so we up right now, so good. Um, next, we have woman holding a coin, which I like to liken to the um, queen of pentacles. Um, we also have hostilities, caring connections, right? So this is your um, sixth chakra in reverse, you see? The third eye chakra, I'm sorry, did I say crown? The third eye chakra is um, blocked for some of you. Fourth chakra heart, upright. Woman holding the coin, okay. So we're going to clarify these and see what is going on. Let me do one more because I like to, I like to have, I always say I'm going to do one more. And then Spirit give me like 10 more. So Spirit, can you just like, come on today. This is Monday. Just give me one. Just one. One more. Can we do one more for the collective spirit? We got six chakra in reverse, fourth chakra. We got woman holding a coin, hostilities, and caring connections. Hmm. Okay. I'm, I don't like this hostility one. I don't like this six chakra in reverse either. But we're going to clarify and see. What's going on? One more, Spirit. One more. Okay, I'm going to take this one. <sighs> Broken heart. Wow. Why did I take that one? I should have just let it flip. All right. So let's get into the clarification of this. We just want to dive right on into it, right? So our third eye chakra, our third eye helps us see uh, the things that are um, but you can't see, you know, of course, with the, with the two eyes, things on an energetic, um, level are into our intuitive eye, you know, so because you have this blockage, some of you all are not leaning into your intuition. Some of you all are ignoring your intuition and that's upsetting me and your spirit team. Cause I didn't told you about that. All right. Let's, let's, let's talk to the asses, spirit. We're not doing all that talking. Let's talk to them and see what's going on, spirit. Can we clarify? What? Let's talk about this third eye being blocked, spirit. Like, what? What? The world is first. So some of you all are refusing to see um, cycles that need to be closed and completed. Things that you have come to the end of the road on. Six of Pentacle energy. This speaks to reciprocity, give and take. Um, I feel like some of you all could be in exchanges, situations, relationships, friendships, whatever, where you are giving more than you're receiving. And you are not seeing that this is detrimental to you. Um, it's not fair. You know, um... It's that bullshit. Hmm. 
Three of Swords. Worst card in the deck, heartbreak. And you have broken heart at the end. So I already know it's some fuckery of brewing. But we're going to get over there. Three of Swords. Heartbreak. Hmm. So some of you could also be ignoring someone. Hmm. Mm hmm. Ignoring someone who is either breaking your heart, isn't being respectful to you. Um, you all are ignoring those signs. Hmm. Six of Cups speaks to being nostalgic, having memories, thinking back. Some of you could be reminiscing on the good times. Maybe this is what has you stuck in the union, you know? Um, but whatever it is with this 10 of uh, wands, this is baggage, you know, and I feel like a lot of y'all are not seeing these unions or these connections, whatever, for what they are. And that is baggage. Motherfuckers and, and, and entities that weigh you down, motherfuckers that slow down your journey, slow down your walk on your path. Because here you are, this queen of pentacles. Earth sign energy. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, take it as it resonates. Mm. And you could be, this could be you. This, this is you, you're doing all the giving. And they're doing all the taking. You know, this is them coming in to swoop in on you. And take your coin. You know, with, 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 a, you could be dealing with some, uh, a sweet talking man, you know, sweet talking friend, manipulative ass friend, you know, um, friends who try to tug at your, 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 your heartstrings with the bullshit, you know, friends trying to manipulate you, but you're coming up in this reading as an abundant person. You have Queen of Pentacles here and also this woman holding a coin, which is also the Queen of Pentacles to me. And next is hostilities. You got a lot of people upset with you because of your abundance. Mm. Ain't that a bitch? Um, Page of Swords, Knight of Cups came out for the Heart Chakra. Hmm. Page of Swords in this Knight of Cups. In this Heart Chakra. I don't know. Let me pull some more. What's going on with this Heart Chakra spirit? Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm gonna take it like this <sighs> because the heart chakra is upright. Hmm. So I feel like you got some activation in your heart chakra, some energy coming, some activity coming. Somebody wants to give you um, a love offer. Somebody wants a union with you with this two of cups energy. You know, um, and I feel like this is a new energy with this Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords, this is um, Air Energy, Libra, um, Aquarius, or Gemini, take it as it resonates. But this speaks about um, clarification, um, new, new communication, uh, 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 new unions. You know, I, I feel like it could be... It could either be with an air sign or, or with this Knight of Cups. It could also be with a water sign. But the problem that I'm motherfucking having with this shit is you are a queen. You are showing up as a queen with that motherfucking bread. And this person is a knight. I don't like that. I don't like knight page shit. I don't like that with love offerings. I don't like seeing two of cups with um, pages or knights, especially when... Um, the main energy is the queen of pentacles or queen of anything or king of anything. I don't like this. So this person is 
I feel like this person wants to make a love offer or for some of you, the offer could have already been made. The interest could have already been shown, but they don't measure up to you, baby. I hate to be the one to say, no, I don't. I actually, I don't. I'm definitely not the one that hates it. I have no problem telling how it is. Some of her go. But yeah, this person is not, no. And I'm in need for you to have your third eye open to see this. I don't need you to be ignoring that this person does not reciprocate. I don't need you to be ignoring that this person, because this energy is a night, all of the baggage and all of the weight is going to be on you, which is going to lead you to have heartbreak. So I feel like this new energy or this energy here. It's a part of this cycle. So either this new person is going to come um, to test you to see, are you really done with these low vibrational urchins? Are you really done with dealing with the riffraff? You know, do you really want a king I'm hearing? Do you really want a queen? Or are you cool with these knights and these pages giving you these bullshit love offers? You know, with these light bulbs they and, and these birds, they got the gift of the gab. Oh, love bomb, love bomb, love bomb. You know, they got nice shit to say, nice shit to say, which is cool. We like that. But look, they not, they not holding no coins, baby. And the reading is saying they not holding no fucking coins. You're going to be holding no coins. You're going to be holding the, the burden and you're going to begin to um, have hostility against them. Okay. Hmm. Nine of Wands speaks to the wounded warrior. Ten of Pentacles that talks about financial abundance, fulfillment. Six of Swords. So with this woman holding a coin, right, this Queen of Pentacle energy Baby, you got, I'm talking to somebody who is, if you're not financially abundant, you're on your way or you're stable. You're good with money. I'm feeling a lot of earth energy here. You know, you could have earth placements. I'm, I'm, I'm picking up on Capricorn a lot. You know, I'm leading with Capricorn, but you could have a lot of earth placements, but you about your bread, you about your money, you good money wise. You are good money-wise with this Ten of Pentacles. And you've had to fight hard. I'm, I'm feeling like, you know, you've had to fight hard for either your money or to make your money. To protect your money or make it. This Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. Always ready to battle. You know, always, you know, even if um, they're, they're caught off guard, always ready to battle. You know, so this is you. You don't you you don't play, especially with this ten of pentacles. You don't play when it comes to your money. I'm talking to somebody who don't play with when it comes to their money and will roll the fuck out if 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 you ain't talking about no fucking money. We'll roll the fuck out, we'll dip out if you want that bullshit. Thank you for these messages, spirit. Do we have anything else for the woman holding a coin? Anything else for the woman holding a coin? Thank you for these messages and the thing, spirit guys. Yeah, and baby, the Empress. What else is this? The Empress and the Ace of Pentacles. You, you are straight. The Empress is fertility, abundance, cornucopia, harvest, reaping what you sow, growing, abundance again. Ace of Pentacles, this means that your abundance, you are blessed by spirit. A lot of your abundance, these are blessings. You know what I mean? You are anointed. I'm talking to someone who is anointed, where they receive their blessings literally from the goddamn sky. Ancestors just here, baby, I'm hearing. Here you go, baby. And because of that, mm mm you got hostile motherfuckers. You got people who jealous. You got people who got hostilities against you. You know, people who want to come and take could be an air sign. I see that sword in his hand. Take it as it resonates. But you have people um, who don't like that about you. 
who don't like your regal, your your majestic, your 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 abundance. You know, they don't like that. A lot of you all are very intuitive too. She has this black cat sitting next to her, very lucky, protected. This is you. Mm. Let's back up this hostility. Fuck all the bullshit. So let's talk about this hostility here, guys. Who the fuck is hostile? Who got a fucking problem with the booze? Who trying to run it? Who trying to get fucked up? Who got these hostilities? Let's talk about this hostility card. What is this hostility energy? Can we talk more about this spirit? What is this hostility energy coming from? Ancestor spirit, guys. What is hostility? Thank you for that message, spirit. Ace of Cups. New love. Yeah. Whoever it is that you're moving away from. Whatever it is you're moving away from. Particularly this energy that had you in this Three of Swords energy. Heartbreak. You know, this sneaky ass Knight of Swords energy. They're not going to like when your new love comes in. Because you got new love coming. In this page, in this night, in this cup here, it could have been this energy. But I feel like, because this is, this, is this is new. This is a separate energy. You have new love coming. This Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups speaks about love offerings. Someone or, you know, someone or your ancestors wanting to pour love onto you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Somebody has their sights set on you. Somebody is planning to give you a love offer. And um, whoever home slice is right here, they're not going to like it. What's this? Mm. Oh, sorry, y'all. Knight of Pentacles. Now, I like Knight of Pentacles. Knight energy with the Pentacles, that's about the money. I ain't mad at it. And this is not about, this isn't a, a I'm not pulling a, a, a person, a masculine person or a feminine person. This is just, I'm talking about the hostility. So the Knight of Pentacles is cool. But this, this Knight of Pentacle energy, this person sees your worth. This person knows that you are a queen of pinnacle. And they go after what they want. And look, they're leaving pinnacles and they're on their path too. They got money too. That's why I say I don't mind the Knight of Pinnacles. You know? King of got King of goddamn pinnacles. You know what? Baby. You got King of Pinnacle coming. You got somebody who gonna match your motherfucking fly. Where she go? Where my boo go? You got stable love. That's King of Pentacles. That's Queen of Pentacles. Look at that. Look how he looking like. Hey, boo. And she like, hey. Hi, yeah. Hi. Look. You got King of Pentacle energy coming in. That's um, Earth sign as well. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Take it as it resonates. And you gonna have some motherfuckers who ain't gonna be happy about that. You could also have people from your past that's gonna try to fuck that up. Maybe even people from their past. Mm hmm. Who child? Who child? How did all of these come out? We got King of Swords here. This is um this is uh air energy. Libra Aquarius Gemini take it as it resonates. This could be who is hostile. It could be a um air sign boyfriend. You know, with this two of pentacles, if this might be two men that you're gonna be juggling, that you may have to make a choice about. Yeah, you're going to have to make a choice about it. 
You're going to have to tap into that moon, that intuition, your third eye. So you need to work on this third eye chakra, baby. Because I feel like you're going to have to make a choice. Ooh, shit, baby. You got the tower. That's it all falls down. Hostilities. Five of Wands. Conflict. Somebody ain't going to like this. This, this, it, I'm picking up hostility in the love department. I, I'm picking up competition in the love department. You also got kings. You got all the goddamn kings on this hostilities right under here. All the kings is under hostilities. So it's, 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 it's going to be some competition about you, baby. King of wands have entered the motherfucking chat. This is fire sign energy. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and they don't fucking play no games. You got your judgment card. Judgment talks about an awakening, starting over, resetting. I feel like you, you're, you're going to have a reset with love. Magician. That's Gemini energy. Uh, the magician is about manifestation. Somebody manifesting you. Somebody's trying to give you a love interest. I mean, a love offering. And I, I'm hearing that they want it to stand the test of time. They want it to be forever. They don't want it to be on no bullshit. They don't want it to be no wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I'm hearing. I'm going to pull from another tarot deck since I didn't pull half the motherfucking deck under hostilities. And I want to make sure I get all the tea. Okay, thank you for these messages, spirit. Woo. Collective got it going on, don't mm, magician again. Yeah, somebody is manifesting you. You're manifesting somebody too. Yeah, hold up. You got magician and you got magician. So what this is telling me, whatever it is that you're manifesting, is manifesting you too. Whoever it is you're manifesting is manifesting you too. Yeah, that's beautiful. We like that. There we go. Yeah. And motherfuckers is going to be mad. Motherfuckers is going to be hostile. I'm hearing, oh, since when? I'm hearing, I'm hearing, especially with all these kings in here, you got these, these, these energies in here. A lot of people who've been pussyfooting, who should have hollered at you a long time ago, you know, who should have fucking shot their shot or shoot their shot, however the fuck I'm trying to say it, they going to be hostile because I feel like this, this, this is, it's an earth sign. I feel like they coming in because they coming in with that night of pinnacle energy. You know, they, they, they coming in like fast, but still steady, you know, grounded, but still you know, astron, astron, whatever the word I'm looking for. Yeah, page of pentacles. They're interested in you. They see value in you. They trying to holler at you. They see the abundance you bring. They know the type of team you can be. I'm talking to an earth sign, about an earth sign. It could be you are the earth sign and the earth sign is going to come to you. It could be anything. Let's find out. Caring connections. Yeah, look at that. Hidden border flowers, earth. 14. 14 breaks down to 5. 5 is change. Can we please clarify caring connections, please, spirit? Caring connections, please. Can we please clarify? Caring connections for the collective. What is going to be this caring connection? Who is going to be this caring connection? Ooh, ooh. Ace of Swords. Somebody knew. Somebody knew it's going to come in to talk to you. Somebody knew it's going to come in to holler at you. Mm. But then you got five of pentacles in reverse. So hold up. It could be somebody's raggedy ass you done left in the cold too. That may have realized 
that this is a good connection for them, that you are, they're, they're starting to realize your worth. And now they have clarity about you and the connection and they want to come out of the code. I can't tell you what the fuck to do. Let me just keep pulling. All right, Spirit, if this is where we going with this, tell me what else about this raggedy ass motherfucker that's trying to come back. But I, I, I am hoping um, that it's this new energy. Spirit is saying with this high priestess, whoever this is coming in, you need to get on your fucking intuition, baby. This time, Spirit is saying, you need to listen to what I'm trying to tell you about this motherfucker. Because whatever this, 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 this new conversation that this person wants to have, this new communication, it, it, I'm not believing them. It's, it's, it's not coming off genuine to me. Hmm. It can come off as a caring connection. Mm. Tower. But it's going to fucking go down and smoke. Mm hmm. And it could be this hostile person. And I'm going to tell you why. Because the Nine of Cups just came up. And Nine of Cups talks about satisfaction. You see how smug she is? Nine of Cups talks about, yeah, I feel good. I'm nice. I'm fulfilled. I'm emotionally fulfilled. I'm happy. And with this caring connection, I feel like, especially after this hostility card, I feel like whoever you didn't left in the cold with this five of pentacles, they're going to try to come back, especially when they see that you've moved on. Whoever it is, they're going to try to come out of this out of the cold um, energy and, and, and come to you with um, new, want to talk you know, can can we can we know some time has passed, you know, can we talk, you know, get some shit off my chest, you know, whatever. But spirit is saying you need to be on your high priestess shit. You need to discern. You need to use discernment. You need to see this person for what the fuck they really are. And remember why you let they bitch ass in the cold. Okay? Because if you don't, you're gonna get a tower moment, another tower moment. Shit going to fall apart again. And that's going to be what the fuck they want. Nothing is going to make them happier. Then shit falling apart for you again. They don't want to see you happy. They don't want to see you holding the coin. They don't want to see you fulfilled. They don't want to see you in no caring connection. They want to see you motherfucking heartbroken. Okay? It's at the bottom of the deck. Four of Wands. Mm-hmm. Four of Wands talks about stability. That's what you want. That's what you deserve. You know, that's what you will get. Spirit is saying you got to be patient, baby. You got to be patient. You got to let shit fall down so that spirit can build it up. All right? Knight of Cups. Yeah. Here we go. Knight of Cups, Playboy. When I see Knight of Cups, I always think of Playboy. Playboy's rushing in with the love bombs. You know, uh, oh, baby, I, I, I love you so much. You're telling you everything you want to fucking hear. You know, telling you everything they think you want to hear. You know, Knight of Pentacles. You know, uh, this person is coming in with the sweet talking. But you also have your Knight of Pentacles. And like I say with the Knight of Pentacles energy, I don't mind the Knight of Pentacles. But when, when it, we're coupled with the Knight of Cups and we're backing up the broken heart, I got a problem. So we got broken heart. Let me give y'all the visual. So you have your Knight of Cups and your Knight of Pentacles coupled with the broken heart. Right? So, like I said, whoever this energy was who broke your heart is crazy. Now we have a different deck and we're back on the nights. This is somebody who was not on your level. Somebody who, Knight of Wands, could have been a hoe, a fuckboy. 
you know, somebody who wanted to sleep with motherfucking everybody. Yeah. Wanted to stab you in your fucking back, betray you. Somebody who had options after options after options. You know, felt like they had options. A playboy. Yeah. And you 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 gotta walk away from that. Six of swords. Hmm. But tell me some more about this broken heart spirit. Somebody who juggled you to a pinnacle. Queen of Cups energy. Queen of Cups in reverse. That speaks about emotional manipulation. Somebody who's very um emotionally manipulative. You know, somebody who emotionally blackmails you. Or, yeah, emotionally blackmails you, uses your emotions against you, you know, um, and a manipulator, an emotional manipulator. Mm, so damn, the only queen or, you know, royalty that comes up comes in reverse. Yeah, this person is not on your level. Thank you for these messages, Spirit. Do we have anything else? Anything. Okay. Page of Wands. Yeah. A whole ass hoe. A whole ass fucking hoe. That's what broke your heart. That's who broke your heart. And Spirit is trying to tell you to remember that. Some of y'all I'm feeling um, are going to try to return back to what broke you. Because you have a blocked third eye chakra because you're not tapping into your intuition because you're not tapping into your higher self because you're not listening to that voice in your head the good voice in your head the voice in your head that's trying to protect you the voice in your head that's trying to show you that shit is not on the up and up you know people are not who they are uh, claiming to be People are really low-key hostile. You know, I'm also feeling... That's why you got to be careful with remaining friends after you break up. I'm feeling that, you know, for some of you, you could have broke up with whoever broke your heart. And now, oh, we're going to be friends. And I hear they're going to sabotage every motherfucking uh, relationship your ass get in after that. They're going to have hostilities against you moving forward. Yeah. So you have mending. Spirit is saying... That you have some healing to do. I mean, that's imperative. Um, and it's also obvious with these three of swords, these broken heart cards. You, you need to take some time out to mend, to heal yourself. I'm also hearing spend some time with your inner child. Open your spiritual door. Get into your spiritual bag. Okay? Spirit wants you to be poised for your blessings. You are a blessed person, baby. You are a queen of cups. You are a woman holding a coin. You need to always be poised. You need to always remember who you are. Have some dignity about yourself. Some pride about yourself. Okay? And when you're poised, you're always ready to receive. Thank you for these messages, Spirit. Uh, let's do two more from the Wisdom Oracle. Okay, that's the two. That's it. Okay. Tribe. All right. So, Spirit is bringing forth a tribe for you. This is especially for those of you all who feel like you're lonely because, you know, as we're going through this reading, I could not find, and I went through how many decks, anybody who could match your energy. And I feel like a lot of you all are feeling like, oh, well, when am I going to find my person? When am I going to find my people? I'm tired of being the diamond in the rough. I'm tired of being told not to lower my standards, but I'm lonely or I'm alone or I'm this or I'm that. And spirit is saying your tribe is coming. Your tribe is coming. And for those of you who are asking why you had to go through that, I'm hearing you wouldn't know your tribe by their face if you were still entertaining this bullshit. That's why you need to close this cycle. And that's why you need to open up your third eye. Because spirit needs you to use your third eye so that you can see your tribe. So that you can recognize your tribe when it begins to come in. Okay? 
so you can recognize who's the king from the knights, who's the queen from the pages, who can sit with you and who can't even come to the table to say hi. All right. This is my time, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in to April Nicole Tarot. I am your girl, April Nicole. Thank you all for um, tuning in. Um, I appreciate you all support more than you'll ever know. Um, if you love um, what I said and what I said resonated, please let me know. Drop me a comment below. I love reading you all's comments. Um, let me know. Also, um, give me a thumbs up below. It really helps the channel if what I said resonated with you as well. Okay? So I'm going to get back into doing um, my readings for the Zodiacs. I know I dropped some a few days ago. Thank you so much for y'all's um, patience. It really means the moon to me. Um, but until then, you have these general readings that I hope resonated with you. All right? So until the next time I see you, you have a great day, um, week, hour, whatever. Um, and I'm sending you a, an abundance of love and light. All right? And until next time, thank you for tuning in. Bye.